Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Zell 58 and last we left off um, I gave you a little little special a little little nugget of fun um, but you know I'm gonna continue the story no point in re-showing that battle with the story characters um, and uh, we'll just continue on for this fight, there's a great, like, divide between us and the enemy, so, uh, bringing in Mustadio and Worker 8, and then on the other side, I'm bringing in, uh, uh, Orlando, who I gave the Excalibur back to, uh, for the speed boost, and then, uh, Cactar with his, uh, with his Chaos and, uh, and, uh, Excalibur, uh, dual-wielding so, oh, it looks like it's Balk again. Now, I'm pretty sure it's just like he was revived by one of the stones or something. Well, what, what bothers me about that is that you don't see him have a stone. You don't get a stone off him. He doesn't transform. So, I'm guessing that's what happened. But when I originally played this, I just assumed that, oh, he, you know... He died, and we are actually in hell where the dead can come back. But if that was the case, I would think we'd see more uh, people that we killed, like Wygraf and, you know, uh, the Marquis and, and all that. But, uh, so he has the blast gun, and uh, if you want another blast gun, you can steal it from him. Uh, I believe also his chemist has one of those guns too, but, you know, I, I have everything but the stone gun, and... You know, I, I have no need for it, so I'm not going to mess around. It's time to, time to kill these guys and get out of here. We are so close to the end. We just have this and one more map, and we're done. Yeah, it's crazy. So, wanted to show that, that team once again of Mastadio and Worker 8. They really are just a, a good 1-2 uh, long distance combo. Yeah, basically, like, you get some of the best equipment in this game. Like, I know, uh, second to the last battle, because the, the next map has multiple battles, like, the second to the last battle, or the last time that you get any sort of, like, loot, you get the Ragnarok. So it's kind of like the game saying, hey, this person, use a good sword, here you go. I don't know why they just don't give you the Chaos Blade. I guess that'd be too easy. Whatever. Oh, we had the triple flame, which which worked very well for him. Nothing like uh, Rotha or Malik. All right, let's see. Yeah, might as well use Night Sword. I'm not gonna risk losing Orlando this far in. God is not taking a day off today. <laughs> you get the reference, then you deserve a high five. Let's see here. Dispose, dispose, dispose. You're gone, buddy. Wahoo! <laughs> cool. Yeah, these these hydras, they're quite not fun. <laughs> and dark behemoths, they just they're just tossing all the all the baddies at ya. That's fine, because we'll just take them out. Like they were nothing. This behemoth doesn't stand a chance. It's one bladed on ya. <laughs> I gave Cactar Titan Grip. Just realized that. Ouch. Sorry, Bulk. See how you like to play. Now, if you have a, a high enough move or jump, you can just, you know, go right across that. It isn't impossible. Uh, but they, they were smart. They should have taken out... They should have had less of these Hydras and more, of, like, Chemists and Archers. Because that would have definitely made this battle a little bit harder. Because then they'd just be picking on you. Like, if they made the gap a little bit farther so you couldn't get across, and then you had to walk all the way down there, and the whole time you're just getting beamed by, you know, uh, gun users and, and archers. It'd be really, really difficult. And fitting for one of the last areas in the game. 
really feel like this area is just, it's pretty easy. Because you got this battle, which, in my opinion, is easy. I'm not really stressing it. And then the next portion is really easy, too. <laughs> just, it's, it's kind of a letdown. I do like the design of this map, though. I like the, the like, vines and, you know, just the destroyed, like, yeah, area. It's pretty cool looking. Let's see, what do I want to use here? Okay, I can't use that one. Crush, you have to be on the same level. So, yeah, we'll use Compress. Very cool. It's my way of showing off Worker 8 before I do a uh, breakdown of him. And let's see here. Let's... Oh, man. I hate when you're just, like, you're one block away from doing what you need to do. Oh, yeah, if you did that, I would have been pissed. Don't act. No. You're you're done, buddy. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just hate when I'm one block away from being able to, like, actually you know, use my abilities on the character. And, yeah, let's finish off this, uh, this last Hydra. Mm -hmm. And let's box in Balk over here. And yeah. I, I never fully understood what really happened. Like, obviously he sold his soul, but it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We saw him die, or at least we, I thought we saw him die. And pretty much implied. Yeah, okay. A little dialogue here. What a pity. Finally a human being? Well, you came back to life. You did exactly what human beings don't do. You cheated death. So that is one of the few things that really just defines what a human is. You know, we're born, we die, you know, we reproduce. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that death is the... the one of the few things every living thing experiences. Part of life. It's scary. But it is part of life. It is a creepy thought, you know, very morbid to think that one day we're all gonna have to face it. We're all gonna die. I don't mean to be depressing, folks. But, eh, just got into that. Hey, look at Crush! Cool, he has a drill for an arm! <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I'm gonna change the subject. Alright, let's finish this guy off. We're missing dinner. Okay, we're not really missing dinner. I'm recording this. It's about lunchtime. Should make some hot wings. Nah, I'm not really even that hungry. But there we go. Yeah. You thought you'd risen over death? No way, Jose. Alright, that way. Follow the screams. Alright, and even though this episode is lengthy enough, I think I'm going to pop in the next fight for this episode. So, lucky you. So, with that, we are moving on to the next battle. Uh, pretty easy battle, to be honest with you. Um, we're just we're facing off against Vormov. And uh, I'm going to try to limit the special characters and you know just bring in the last of of the subscribers. Yeah, we got Sweet, we have uh, Rimley, and then Cactar. They made it. They made it all this way. And I'll throw in Mustadio just because I feel like he is the most. He's the closest to a story-based character as, as any of my special characters, I guess. I guess I could have put in Rafa and Malik. Eh. Either way. Yeah. I, I just I didn't want to use uh, Orlando because... Yeah, <laughs> he's just too good. He's too broken. And, okay, so we see our sister Alma and Vormov trying to do something. Ah. So yeah, he is trying to revive uh, Saint Majora. 
Yeah, of course we're here. We're here to stop you, fool. You can't beat us. We killed everyone. I should do that stat. I was I was thinking about it like it just uh, going through each episode and recording, you know, who got what kills and uh, giving a, a total at the end. Jeez, that'd be a lot of rewatching. <laughs> hey, we'll see. There's still so much that I need to do. I need to finish the annotations um, and then the breakdowns. I got most of them done, but now I, I still need to do all the special characters. And finally, we see what Vormov looks like transformed. He looks pretty, uh, no pun intended, beastly. Now that's that's pretty cool. He might look like the Lion King, but I mean, it makes sense for those slashes that we saw on the people that he killed. The biggest drawback about fighting him, which you know makes this kind of anticlimactic, is that it's just him. He doesn't have any demons with him. And, you know, it's the same old story, has those status ailments that can really mess you up, but other than that, he's not that hard. So, kind of, kind of disappointing. I think it would have been fitting if, you know, like, all the Zodiac, all the Zodiac monsters came back. <laughs> that would be actually, that'd be really tough. That'd probably be too tough, because you... There'd be more of them than there are of you, and they can all do those status, and yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, maybe just take it out, you know? They can only bare bones attack, and you have some ranged and some not. I don't know. Just... Seems like, you know, especially if you've been following my Let's Play, and you've been... You know, you, you've learned all the ins and outs of characters, and... You've gotten all the, you know, best equipment, and, you know, you've used the the brave and faith uh, boosting mechanics. This fight will be just, it'll be a joke. Yeah, I didn't think I could cure that. Only way to cure stop is to either let it wear off, or kill the person and revive it. I guess I could do that with Sweet, but I got other fish to fry. But yeah, I mean, if, if you... If you followed this Let's Play, then this will be a cakewalk. And even if you haven't, this should still be pretty easy. You know, you just watch this and you prepare accordingly. I didn't fully prepare for every fight, but, you know, you could have stuff that, that protects you against status ailments in this. If you got any ribbons from uh, poaching, uh, this would be a good time to use it. And yeah. Die. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll just be able to kill him with uh, uh, Rimli and uh, Estadio here. Once again, Rimli, I'm sorry that uh, you end up not being a nuker in this. I should have made you that in retrospect, but whatever. Dang. Meteor. It's very fitting. Speaking of fitting, yeah. Thank God for that perfume for, uh, Sweet. She can never die. There's... only way I could lose this fight is if everyone was killed at the same time. Because Sweet will keep getting re-raised. Gotta love her perfume. Oh boy. Doing it again, really? Alright, let's just finish you off. That's a unique spell. <laughs> Killed her again. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Oh, now you're in trouble, buddy. Let's see here. I'll give you a little health boost. Because even though you have Regin, you know, if you take another hit like that, you'll die, and then I'll have to revive you. That won't be any fun. And you're done. Yeah, see? Pretty easy. No one really died. Just, uh, Sweet did, but she can, yeah, re-raise. And... 
Oh, Alma, she woke up. Has no idea where she is. And, okay. And he offers his own life to bring back St. Ajora. Man, that's bloody. But, fortunately it works. And we get the Virgo Stone. What did it do? I believe now we've gotten all of them. And now our sister's changing into St. Ajora, which looks kind of like Zombie Alma. Anyways, folks, next episode uh, will be our last battle of the game. So stick around. Please rate, comment, appreciate. Uh, favorite if you really liked it and of course of course hit that subscribe button if you like me because I like you if you like me uh, Anyways, have a nice day. Bye